Hello, people. I'm Vito, and welcome back to Path of Radiance with Robert Link. Hello. So, where we left off, we completed the Serenus Forest, which took ten episodes. Finally. And we res- uh, we restored the Serenus Forest with the help of um, Rayson and Leanne. So let's see what's next. Mainal Cathedral. You have done excellent work, Ike. Thanks to you, the wound that has scarred Benyon for many long years can finally begin to heal. As promised, Benyon now offers its support to Crimea's restoration. However, Prime Minister Seferan has yet to return, which limits the reinforcements I can provide. Are you sure? I mean... Be what? that as it may, what troops I can spare await your command. Use them as you see fit. I mean, like, what's so important about Seferin? Hmm. It's like, wait, I thought you were the emperor. Empress. <laughs> I understand. Thank you. That's good news, isn't it, Princess Silencia? Yes. Yes, it is. This has taught me a valuable lesson. Our land needs the Lagoos. Where Caroline, Caroline lives in my brain. <laughs> I also believe that Bjork and Lagoos need each other to survive. The previous apostle, my grandmother, was desirous of such a world, as were my own parents. Princess Alencia, your father, King Raman of Crimea, was a true pioneer in the area of bjork Lagu's relations. In the very near future, I will give the Imperial Senate a few suggestions on achieving a fully integrated society. I doubt the road will be easily traveled, but I can no longer turn a blind eye to these issues. Princess Alencia, you must rebuild Crimea. If you are successful, we will join forces and change the world. Isn't Crimea still, like, being occupied <laughs> by the entire day in military? Need to take it back first, but, uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. All right. <laughs> Empress Sanaki, your vision surpasses even my own. My father would be so pleased to hear your words. Looks like you're through with me. I'll wait outside until you're finished talking. <clears throat> talking, yeah. Hold. I am most definitely not through with you. <laughs> huh? Uh, what did I do now? You're as impudent and impatient as ever. Heed me, Ike. If you are to help lead the Crimean Liberation Army, you must be given a more appropriate title. If you're talking about making me a noble, I'll decline, thanks. That's not my kind of thing. You are not in a position to refuse. Giving some nameless mercenary control of Benyon's troops would be... problematic. And more importantly, it would affect the troops. You will resign yourself to this and receive peerage from Princess Ilincia. What? No, wait. This is absurd. Blast. Of all the foolish... I'm sorry about this. If you're absolutely opposed to it, I won't force you. No, I have to do what's necessary. What am I supposed to do now? Put on a funny hat or something? Um, will you lend me your sword? Thank you. Now may I ask you to kneel before me? Th thank you. All right. Let me begin. In the name of House Crimea, I hereby grant you the title and rank of Lord, and all the honors it conveys. Rise, Lord Ike. Oh? Here it comes! Ah! Oh. <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for, and the reason why Ike hasn't been being used in the past <laughs> mission, because he couldn't get anything. Ah, yes. Big pauldron. <laughs> Lord, level one. Nice. Mm. Got four HP out of that. <laughs> and new splash art. <laughs> it is done. You can now look at people in the direction you're facing. <laughs> what an odd feeling. My neck... 
I'm feeling all the pain from having it twisted for so long. <laughs> Aha. Your new rank suits you. I completely agree. Yes, it truly does. Hmm, I suppose. Not that it matters to me. Matters to us. Now you're gonna level up again. <laughs> Indeed. Western Binyan is home to the Great Forest. At one time, these woods were home to the kingdom of Serenus and ruled by the Heron clan of the Bird Tribes. It's like, ew, you got a booger on the map. <laughs> Following the Serenus massacre, the forest lost its color and vitality. <clears throat> Some said it was the sorrow of the goddess made real. For twenty long years, the devout citizens of Benyon trembled in shame and loathing over the crime they had committed. The Benyon Empress, Apostle Sanaki, stepped forward as representative of her countrymen. So there's a recap, I guess? I suppose. Kneeling before the surviving Heron Prince and Princess, she gave voice to the apology of her people. She spoke not as one nation to another, but as neighbors on the same continent. The massacre was unforgivable. However, hatred breeds hatred, and if the cycle of grief and anger is not broken, it will continue for time without end. It was with this in mind that the Herons accepted the Apostles' apology. And so it was that Serenus Forest, ah, Forest was returned to its former glory. Afterward, as payment for Ike's service, Princess Elincia gained the services of a regiment of Benyon Army regulars. I do like the music. Yeah. Though of common birth, Ike receives peerage from the princess and is given command of the army. As the first snow of the season falls, the newly commissioned General Ike takes control of the Crimean Liberation Army, the CLA. Hmm. He leads it toward the knife-edged mountains that mark the border between Benyon and Dayan. Great, more mountains! I just realized it didn't it didn't look like there was anything uh <laughs> Crimea marches chapter 18 I was gonna say but okay. well I didn't want to interrupt you <laughs> yeah seems like there was room to be explored in the northwest or northeast after Dayan hmm so they've left Benyon have they according to our spy they march with a regiment of Benyon's army I can't remember the voice I was given it's been so long they plan to take a land route through Dayan and then into Crimea. Ha. They plan to cut across Dayan with nothing more than a single regiment at whose core is a tattered band of ragtag mercenaries. I don't remember what voice I gave you either. Gawain's son leads this rabble, yes? How does he stand up to his father's legacy? He doesn't. He's just a boy, not yet worthy of his father's name. Huh. Disappointing. Though his skill with the blade is rough, there is something uncanny about him. People seem drawn to him. And not just Benyon's apostle, either. He's also gained the trust of the Serena's survivors, and of King Phenesis as well. The herons are alive. It appears that two members of the royal family survived. I thought we tricked the Benyon people to murder all of them. <laughs> Look how nicely the table's been set for us. Was it actually Dan that did that? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> As I'll say, I'll remember that, but it wouldn't surprise me. I was just making a joke. <laughs> 
bring one of them to me. I care not which one, and I want the medallion as well. As you wish. Once we cross the Great Wall, we'll be in Dayan. Look there, atop that building. Dayan Wyvern Riders on patrol. They won't be happy to see us. Tell me, General Ike, have you faced Wyvern Riders in combat? I don't know if I said that properly. Have you faced Wyvern Riders in combat? Mm -hmm. Only a few times. <laughs> and then there was the one that just wouldn't stop clinging to me. <laughs> I got the impression that the Kilvis Ravens were the more dangerous foe. If that's your impression, then you have yet to fight true wyvern riders. What do you mean? I mean Jill's a sissy. <laughs> I have no way of judging the ones we see here, but I know another unit, one that was attached to Benyon's temple guard. They had their reasons for leaving, but the important thing to remember is that they are exceedingly powerful which explains why the Apostle sent you to, to accompany us. That's right. Pegasus Knights fare better than most against Wyvern Riders. We know the skies as well as they do. Yeah, I prefer to keep my feet on the ground, thank you. Can I entrust the flying business to you? Of course. We'll bring honor to the name of the Apostle's sacred guards. Ike, I'd like to report the results of our last battle, even though it's probably been like a month since then. <laughs> the past four battles in one? All right, MVP Oscar, and I got 690 bonus experience to add to the pile. There were no deaths and no injuries beyond our capabilities to heal. Everyone performed exceedingly well. <laughs> that is all. With your leave, I will excuse myself. Like, how long have you been sitting on this report? <laughs> All right, save. All right. Even though it's not necessary at this point, but... All right. Info. What have we got? Soldier. Ah, oh, my favorite character. General Ike. All troops are ready to move out. All right. Can you have them wait? Do you want them to fall out and wait in their tents? Or would you rather they form up and stand at attention? Uh, go ahead and have them stand down. I'll call them when I'm ready. Yes, sir. Hmm. Begging your pardon, sir. All troops have been ordered to stand down. However, General Tanth requests her orders. Are her Pegasus nice to stand down as well? Am I supposed to decide that, too? General Ike, you've been given command of the entire army, sir. We will not move without your orders, sir. General Tanith's troops are to follow General Tanith's orders. Understood, sir. General Tanith's Pegasus Knights will not be deployed unless there is a request for reinforcements. Those are the orders of General Tanith. By your leave, sir. It is so exhausting. <laughs> Speaking of Tanith... Tanith, do you have a moment? Could you tell that guy to stop asking me for orders? General Ike... What is it? Is there a problem? I'm sorry, this chair is creaking. <laughs> I thought you might be able to provide me with some information. Yes. What can you tell me about King Dayan? I'd like to know something of him before I have to face him in battle. Truth be told, I've never fought him either. Well, I wouldn't have expected you to actually <laughs> have fought him, just in general. <laughs> I cannot give you any specifics but I will tell you what little I do know. Please, whatever you can tell me would be appreciated. Eshnard's coronation. Let me see. Yes, it was 18 years ago. You see, a plague had struck the capital, spreading out to affect the surrounding region of Nevasa and beyond. Eshnard was crowned the year after the great tragedy finally subsided. In the entire history of Tellius, no calamity has claimed the lives of so many Bjork and Lagoos, not since the Great Flood. You mean of uh, Noah's Ark and all that? <laughs> Two years before, it struck Benyan, and the entire population of Serenus was nearly obliterated. <laughs> and then they got burned down. <laughs> the year after that, close to a thousand Bjork nobles and peasants alike 
perished in Dayan. Nobles, you say? So the royal family fell victim to this plague as well? Yes. The reigning king and queen and some twenty or so princes and princesses fell ill. And everyone who fell ill perished. Wait, only like a thousand people though? I know this isn't modern population standards, but still seems like a pretty low number, all things considered. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> For a time, the people despaired of losing the entire royal bud bloodline of Dan. Budline. <laughs> bloodline of Dan. It seemed that none would survive. And yet Ashnard survived, or was he not a noble and he just took the place? Hmm. He did. It is quite interesting, in a sense. You see, his name was never mentioned in any talk of succession before that time. He was such a distant... Oh wait. He was of such a distant bloodline that he was unlikely to be king. In another place, though, his name was already well known. Where was that? On the battlefield. As you know, Dan is home to many brave warriors. At the time, then Prince Ashnard was said to have been a match for an entire troop of Pegasus Knights. That is my only measure of strength. <laughs> Benyon and Dan both keep close watch over their borders, and their patrols fought in many skirmishes. Just a little friendly competition, of course. Yeah. You know, we don't have sports in this age, so <laughs> gotta entertain each other somehow. Although there was no war to speak of, these land disputes did end with Dayan claiming a small portion of Benyon soil. It would be no exaggeration to say this was solely due to the strength of one man, Ashnard. Forgive me. I have spoken longer than I intended. It's about time we get back to the business of marching preparations. So when do we get a prequel game where we play as uh, Ashnard? Oh god. <laughs> no, thank you for telling me so much. If we have another chance, please share more of your stories. Understood. Uh, did I do Tormod? I think I did. I think you did Tormod and I did Morom. Morom. Yeah. Ike, which troop should we fall in with? We haven't received no orders yet. That's because I'm not using you. <laughs> Tormod, Morum. I know I've asked you many times, but are you sure you want to be here? You keep saying that. Maybe you don't want us here. Is that it? I don't know what to think. No, it's not that at all. To be honest, the battle ahead is going to be hard. It looks bleak. I'd rather that those without direct ties to Crimea not get involved. A bleak battle? What about trying to flee? Wait. What about trying to flee all the... Uh, free. Okay. <laughs> what about trying to free all the slaves in Benyan? Now those were bleak battles. Bleak battles are our specialty. Right, Morum? Yes, you are. Yet, thanks to Ike's time in Benyan, things have changed completely. That's right. The Apostle has promised to press her investigation until there's not a single Laguz slave left in the entire nation. So, there's no reason for you two to continue fighting, is there? You don't owe me anything. We're going to help fight with you, Ike. We, we want to help. It is our right to join you in this, just as it is your right to refuse us. To be perfectly frank, I would be willing to beg to get you to join us. Both of you, alright? All right. Haha, <laughs> you can count on us. To sit in the roster and never be used. It's like, all right, if I ever need cannon fodder, I know who to go to. Oh, can he upgrade with Oscar? Yeah, apparently. How's it going, Ike? Oh, hey, Oscar. I'm fine. Actually, I'm kind of worried about something. Can I help? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I was trying to figure out how we should fight the Laguz bird tribes. That's odd. I was just thinking about the same thing. For no reason whatsoever. <laughs> Any backstabbing plans? <laughs> when they turn into their true selves, we are forced into a kind of battle that is difficult for us. You're right about that. The Laguz are so strong. I've, e I've even seen them shatter boulders with a single blow. I feel like our weak points are as visible as a lit torch for the bird tribes. What's more, my sword is useless if they take to the sky. 
which is why you should learn how to use spears and javelins. And bows. <laughs> My advice is to keep engaging them. The more we fight, the more we learn. Of course, it won't be easy. No, but I'm sure we can do it. That's a good idea. Thanks. Let's go kill some birds. <laughs> yeah. Ah, well, sure. You're pretty amazing, Ike. You know that? I guess the crows of Kilvest really left a lasting impression on these people. <laughs> hey, come on now. You're the guy with all the experience and talent. Everything I have accomplished comes from hard work and practice. You're the son of Commander Grail. You have natural talent. I'd follow you anywhere. Okay, go off a cliff. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks, Oscar. All right. Anyone um, else? Should I have Rees talk with someone? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's fine for now. Yeah, I guess. All right. Uh, now supplies. This yeah. might take a while. <laughs> Hopefully not too long. Okay, you can have a staff now. I don't think I have any in storage. Yeah, nothing you can use anyway. Shop time it is. Shop, shop, shop. Uh, okay, you can put some stuff away. Uh, shop, armory. Oh, you don't have iron anymore. Oh. Well, you could take a javelin. Actually, wait. Dagger. A more powerful combat knife. Hmm. You know who I can give that to? So, the, even though you're pretty useless at the moment, but I'll make you less worthless as soon as possible. I figured you might. That's why I brought it up. Ooh, now I can buy light magic. Yay, let me make sure he's not full. Yeah, he's full. <laughs> Convoy, give, restore. Uh, you don't really need mend. You could just use a heal and then be fine for what it's worth. I'm actually spending my money now. What kind of monster have I become? <laughs> I'm a money-spending lunatic. Gasp. Alright. That's pretty dang expensive looking, but I'll get it. Are you giving him both? Sure, why not? Because expenses? <laughs> Okay, give that stuff. I guess you could hold on to the killer lance. Because why not? And then I'll get you another javelin. Yeah, good <laughs> idea. It's going to take so much time to just re-equip everyone. Because all of, all of that weapon use that came out of the last mission. You also don't need antitoxin. Oops, give. You don't need this many swords. <laughs> hmm. Eh, sh she can't use any other types of weapons, so. Yeah, that should be good for now then. Yeah. Uh, you have decent enough usage remaining. Mm. I feel like she could use a stronger lance, though. I guess so. Do you have a steel lance in storage? I doubt it. Yeah, no. Uh, Time to you buy. You could bring out one of the heavier things, like a heavy spear. But it's up to you. I'm on a spending spree. You can't stop me. <laughs> uh, you can just give that. You don't need it. Okay, you don't need that. And you're actually really good on weapon use still. Hmm. Uh, you could use an iron lance, but I don't have one. Well, you have a sl slim lance, I guess. I don't know if there's much point in that. Um, maybe I'll try giving you the short spear. And then you can have 
probably amend. You could probably use that by now. Yeah. <sighs> I need so many lances. You don't need two of those. That's pretty weak, but just go with it. Yeah. All right. And then that should be good. Well, hmm. Uh, what about Ike? Because I know you don't like to use the Regal Sword unless you have to. I think he's the only one who can use it, though, so I should probably keep using it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right, then. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should start trying to use blades. Might 11, might 9, compared to 5. Oh, yeah, that's much more powerful. Oh, jeez. Do it. <laughs> and I also wanted to well also if anyone wants to know their stats you can take a look so you could just pause the video if you want to see them alright and I also wanted to check is anyone abnormally low on one of their weapon levels? Because I could forge a heavy weapon. I could probably make like a super heavy bow. Yeah, for um, Oscar or... Or, or even Rolf. Rolf's only a C still. Yeah. I guess I could do that. We could show off what it's like to actually make a weapon. Yes, a special weapon. Wow, that's naturally pretty heavy, but uh... It's an A, so... Yeah, so probably go with the, this. Steel. Yeah, it's a D. Actually, just in case I want someone else to use it, what is your bow? It's actually E, okay. Mm, probably the same for Boyd since whoops he also just got access to them yeah so maybe I'll make a heavy E just in case so just a super heavy iron bow yes forge bow iron yep so apparently it costs more to change the stats no matter which direction you go in so if I make it weaker it'll still cost more huh see one attack costs thousands more. Well then. All right, so all I want is weight. Ten. That's not even as heavy as a steel one, though. That's annoying. I guess it's plenty affordable, though. Yeah. yeah if you really want to, you can make, like, one iron and one steel, so you have three people. Wait. Can I only forge once? I need, I'm not sure, so just in case I'm going to save first. What do you mean, forge once? I think it's possible that you can only forge once every mission. I don't... I, I don't think so. I'm not sure because I haven't really used it, but just in case. All right. Okay, third time's charm. Okay. Make it heavy. Double its weight. Uh... It's a training bow, but it's probably too long. Heavy. Whoops. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> there we go. That's its name. Heavy bow. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I'll make it red. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Happy bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? 
Oh. I thought that might be it. I don't remember that. I okay, you will remember you being able to use something else to, like get a special benefit. Again, that must be in the next game. Hmm. Heavy bow. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> All right. Uh, I know we didn't actually do much this episode, but I do want the opportunity to give bonus experience, which requires, you know, restarting and making sure they actually get something good. So this is actually a good point to end the episode. Despite uh, not much going on. Yeah, at least got uh, another view at the logistical side of the game. Yeah. If you're interested in that. All right. So, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye for now. Goodbye.